Hey guys, first of all, I hope you are all doing well. I hope you, your family and friends are all healthy and safe. I haven't made a video in a while, I've been busy, but it feels good to be back. And if you're still sticking around with me, say hi in the comments below and I would love to chat with you later. If you're new to this channel, my name is Brennan Spark and I'm a portrait, wedding, event, and concert photographer and videographer. For YouTube, I now have a new permanent setup, so with this setup, my goal is to make more videos for you in the future. Today, we're going to be doing a What's in My Camera Bag 2020 edition. This is my camera bag of choice. It's the Peak Design Everyday Sling. It's compact, it's rugged, and it holds everything I need for various shoots. It's made up of this really durable material where it's not going to tear if it gets scraped up against a rock and it's also water resistant. There's this nice carrying handle I can use if I don't want to wear it over my shoulder. And on the front there is a exterior zippered pocket and this gives me quick access to things I may need during a job. So in here I have my lens wipes of choice. These are the best lens wipes I have ever used. I'll make a video on these later on. I also store business cards in here. It's always good to have quick access to them. In addition, I have a couple pens which are useful for signing important documents. And lastly, I have my drone license so I can fly commercially. And then in the main compartment, it's divided into three main sections. This is where I carry all of my gear. There's another zippered pocket, and then there's a sleeve that I use to store my 11 inch iPad Pro. And I use this for quick edits on photos, to sign contracts, and also to take notes. It's very handy to have. In this inner zippered pocket, I have a card reader that reads compact flash and SD cards from my cameras. And it can also read micro SDs from my drone. I use this USB-C to USB adapter so I can plug this card reader into my iPad Pro. And then I have two additional batteries for my Canon 5D Mark IVs. So now let's talk about this main compartment. What I store in this main compartment will vary based on if I'm traveling, if I'm shooting events or concerts, or if I'm shooting portraits or weddings. So right now, this main compartment is set up for concert and event photography. I have two Canon 5D Mark IV bodies. Attached to this first body is the 16 to 35 millimeter f2.8 lens. And then what I attach to the second body is the 70 to 200 millimeter f2.8 lens. Now whether I'm shooting an event or a concert, both of these shoots require me to shoot wide and also zoomed in. Now when I shoot portraits, I still carry the 70 to 200 millimeter f2.8 because I can zoom in and also get some nice bokeh. Also for portraits, I'm going to take this body, remove the 16 to 35 millimeter lens, and replace it with the 35 millimeter f1.4 lens. Now this lens is absolutely my favorite portrait lens. It focuses really fast and it's very accurate. And in addition at 35 millimeters at f1.4, I get the subject nice and sharp and focused. And then my background is blurry. But what's nice about it is because I'm shooting at 35 millimeters, I still get context of the background. The background does not get completely blown out. So this goes into the camera bag. And lastly, I'll add in my other camera body to hook up to the 70 to 200. And now for travel, I'm going to take out the 70 to 200. I'm going to take out a camera body because I just need one camera body for travel. I want to be more light and efficient. And for this camera body, I'm going to remove the 35 millimeter lens and replace it back with my 16 to 35 millimeter f2.8 lens. This goes back into the camera bag. And then I'm going to grab my DJI Mavic Pro 2 and add this to my camera bag along with the remote control which will go into the other side of this main compartment. So now for travel I can get some great aerial photography and videography with my drone 
and with the 16 to 35, I can get some nice wide landscape shots at 16 and some more personal shots at 35 millimeters. Again, all of the camera gear is linked in the comment section, not comment section, description right down below. Um, if you have any questions about my setup or what I use, you can leave them in the comments and I'll answer them for you. Also, for 2020, let me know what other videos you would like to see on this channel. In the beginning of the year, actually in January, I, I made this board about video ideas for 2020, but I never had time to make any of those videos until now. So we did what's in my camera bag for 2020. So in the comments, let me know what videos you would like to see on this channel, and I'll add your ideas onto this board, and then we can knock them out one at a time. So thank you guys for watching. It's good to be back. Subscribe to the channel and click on that notification bell right down below if you're new. Thank you guys for watching and stay well.